So this story, this book, it was about lions. I want you to think, are lions a wild cat or a cat that we could have as a pet? Think about it first. I want you to turn to your partner and share what you think. I think it's a wild cat. I think it's a wild cat. We already changed the wild cat. Your partner, why do you think it's a wild cat? I want a few people to share with me what your partner said, what you think about lions. Albert? I said that lions are a wild cat because they live in Asia and Africa, and they do a really loud war and they're really big, so you can't have them as a pet. I like how you use what you already know about lions to think about whether they're wild or not. Ready? Okay, remember, we've been talking about syllables, and syllables are parts of the word. Okay? Ready? Mm -hmm. The word is monkey. Say monkey. Monkey. Okay. Separate the word by syllable. Monkey. Okay, now blend it back together. Monkey. Okay, say turtle. Turtle. Okay. First word is fin. I saw a shark fin in the water. Can you say fin? Fin. Hold up one finger for each sound that you hear in the word fin. Fin. Move your letter magnets into your sound boxes for each sound that you hear in fin. Fin. Touch each letter magnet and say the sounds that you hear in the word fin. Fin. Use your finger to track and read your whole word. Fin. These are some letters we've already learned. I want us to look and sound when I point. Ready? Sound? That's the name. We're going to tell the sound. Sound? Child sound? Sound? Good job with those sounds. Now, I'm so proud that you know those sounds. I want to see if you can use them to write. This time, it's going to be one second or less. Do you think you can do it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? You think you know these high frequency words? No. Okay, we'll see. Ready? Read. Love. Find. Group. Example. Learn. Large. Nicely done, everybody. Keep practicing those high frequency words so that when you see them, they become automatic. He thinks being a fisherman has also taught him some important lessons about life. Fishing has gre greeted. Wait. So let's read this part first. Curve. There's one E on the end. Would that be short or long? Long. Cree. Cree. Eight. Now that, read that word again. Created. Can you start from the beginning and read your sentence? Fishing has created the person I am. He said, it brings out the better in me. Today we're going to do partner reading with fluency. Now remember, a fluent reader reads the words correctly and also has expression in their voice while they're reading. Okay? Well, some people call him Mr. Stinky. I was first out in Indonesia. And they have one large sleeve Mary, Mary already was looking forward to the next, next year's parade. Um, what did you think of Patrick's reading? I noticed you self-corrected that. So the first time you read it, you said bed, and he didn't notice that? Okay. So this is great. So now we both know that puts plastic beads instead of plastic beds, because this plastic beds make much sense in that story? No. No. Plastic beads make much more sense. Yes. All right. 
Well done, guys.